What's up everyone, it's your boy Norm Rad 89 here bringing you another Rad series review, continuing the Scooby-Doo television series reviews as we are on to the 13 Ghosts of Scooby-Doo. This season premiered in 1985 and I can't wait to talk about this one. This one's pretty fun, so make sure you stay tuned to the channel so you can hear my thoughts on this season of Scooby-Doo and be sure to share your thoughts down below in the comments. So let's do this. Roll it! So the 13 Ghosts of Scooby-Doo premiered in 1985 and this was the first season to have a full-on storyline that ran all the way through. So it has a continuing storyline so you have to watch episode 1 to go into episode 2, episode 3 and all that kind of stuff so there's no more of those kind of one-off shorts or anything like that anymore. And this is also the shortest run of the Scooby-Doo series of television shows. There's only 13 episodes as well in this season. And there's a lot to talk about, a lot of differences. So let's get right into it. One thing I must correct from my last video, I know like I've been bitching all this Scooby-Doo and I should be an expert, I should be better than this. But yeah, I kind of misspoke in my last video saying that that was Scrappy-Doo's last two seasons. Scrappy-Doo is in fact in this season. I totally spaced it, but that's because he's kind of outshined by two other characters characters we have introduced added to the crew in this one and that's Vincent Price who is the voice of Vincent Van Gogh and then we have Flim Flam as well so we have two editions of new characters and this crew we have Daphne, Shaggy, Scooby-Doo, Scrappy and Flim Flam and then Vincent Van Gogh that's kind of like our grouping together and the whole purpose of the show in this one is Scooby-Doo and Shaggy they end up getting tricked into opening up a like a mystical chest that has demon spirits inside of it and they release all the spirits and they have to go around capturing the spirits and putting them back into the chest and Vincent Van Gogh is kind of like they're you know kind of the master the one that's guiding them along the way and Daphne, Scooby, Shaggy you know what I mean Scrappy and Flim Flam have to capture all these ghosts and demons that they let loose so that's what's really cool about this one is this is a completely new flavor like if you were bored at all with the previous Scooby-Doo shows and you're not feeling that at all like this is something that's going to be totally up your alley because like even Daphne, Daphne has a different look to her, Shaggy looks different, they even drive a different van in this season as well so it's very interesting. This one has new flavor sprinkled all over it. Key favorite episodes is me and my shadow demon where they end up getting lured by a shadow demon who's being controlled by like one of the 13 goes like the demons, it's a vampire lady and yeah that one Queen Morbe more. Bidia is her name. Yeah, that was a fantastic like episode for real. Like, there's a lot of fun episodes in this one because it's like, like I said, they go along with each other, and there's still that slapsticky comedy that they stick in it as well because Scrappy and Flim Flam just get to go off and do some crazy costumes and stuff where they're investigators and detectives and everything. And Daphne in here as well. She's definitely a different kind of Daphne. She's much more in control head honcho the leader of the group and she's really trying to solve these mysteries and like get down to the you know the nitty-gritty of what's going on and what's cool also with this season is we're dealing with real spirits again real ghosts real demons so that's also fun and when you have vincent price in there being a horror fan like i'm a horror fanatic if you're not a horror fan you might not know who he is but he's very famous in the horror community, you know what I mean? He's been in so many films like, you know, Edward Scissorhands, House on Haunted Hill, like he's responsible for a lot of popular stuff. So yeah, having him in here is just a fun spice to add to the season. Of Ghouls is another good episode too, where we have our two kind of bumbling ghosts that ended up tricking Shaggy and Scooby into opening the chest. They follow them on a cruise ship and they try to get Scooby to get scared to death. And they're basically trying to, you know, scare Shaggy and Scooby to death the whole episode. And they're trapped on like this boat and uh, this yacht that's going sailing. So that's a really awesome episode as well. And like I said, this one just has some fun moments because it's so different. It has such a new flavor. And I know that could be a negative for some people be it that if you really enjoy the old school scooby-doo which i'm a person who does i love the one-off stories i love the serial nature of the old ones where it's like oh we solve our mystery in 30 minutes and then it's over but i still do really appreciate the fact that when they came to you know 1985 doing this one 
yeah, they want they had a completely new idea, completely new vibes going into it. And to add to that, you know, they really put a lot of effort into it with adding Vincent Price to the crew and stuff like that. And the animation is a little bit crisper, a little bit more brand new in this one too as well. You can tell the animation is progressing from like the you know mid 70s to 1985. You can really see the more fluid transitions, more detailed backgrounds and all that kind of stuff. And our intro song is not really like an intro song. This one, that's probably one weak point I would say. This one doesn't have a particular catchy intro song or anything like that. Like this one's more memorable because of the story elements, because of the character moments and stuff like that. But in terms of like the actual theme song, it's not a catchy theme song or intro song to this season. And one thing, like I said, I would say is a mix and negative. It's just kind of a mix for me is it does take a little bit to kind of get comfortable with the format of this show and be it that it's only 13 episodes but it goes quick like i said it goes fast by it's easy to digest and watch this one's currently streaming on hbo max or aka max and tubi that's where you can stream this season right here and like i said the 13 episodes they just fly right by and like i said being it that's a continuating a continuation of a singular storyline i think a lot of people vibe with that because it gives you kind of more reasons to go to the next episode because you're like i want to find out what's happening next so i think hannah barbera really had a cool thought like really cool you know ideas when they brought up this season and i'm glad that 13 ghosts of scooby-doo is a really fun part of the television show and it really sticks out you know compared to a lot of the other tv series that we've had and iterations that we've had over the decades and they actually did a follow-up to this which i believe is a movie they did a follow-up movie to this, I believe, in 2009 or 2010 or something like that. So they actually do add some more stuff to the story if you do commit all the way with this season. And then you want to see what else happened. Like I said, I believe there's an animated movie, 2008 or 2009, something like that, that it came out. And it kind of goes along with this storyline. One kind of mixed negative, though, I could say is like Flim Flam. I'm not the highest on him. I do love Vincent Van Gogh. I love that aspect. I love that we're dealing with real spirits and real demons, but Flim Flam, I'm kind of like mixed on. He's, he's cool to an extent, but then not like at the same time, you know what I mean? And it's kind of weird because we have these two characters, Scrappy and Flim Flam, that I'm like, I kind of, part of me really wants it to be, you know, Velma and Fred. You know what I mean? Back with the crew. I just feel like it would be cooler if they were just back with the crew dealing with them in this season sorry that was my dryer that just went off if you heard that but i think it would be cool if it was fred and velma scrappy and flim flam i'm like i'm, I'm okay with them they don't take this season down a notch hardcore and make it awful to watch or anything it's just i think me as a fan i would appreciate it and love this season even more if fred and velma were involved but thanks for sticking around with me all for this video as you talked as I talked my thoughts on the 13 Ghosts of Scooby Doo. Be sure to like, subscribe, have that notification bell poke so you're notified next time I post a video because we're going to be continuing this series. Then I also got to finish my Insidious Rad movie reviews as well, so you want to stay tuned to the channel and hit me up down in the comments. Is this one of your favorite seasons of Scooby Doo? Do you do you have very fond memories of this one, or is this one that you just didn't like? You hated the change and they went too drastic for you with changing the formula with this season i would love to discuss down below with you all but most importantly you know what it is have a safe and happy day peace out